Hello everyone, welcome to Code Languages. In this video, we're going to be looking at two more HTML element tags you probably did not know existed. Those two tags are the code tags and the del and ins tags. Those, the del and the ins tags work together. Okay, so del as in D-E-L and the ins is I-N-S. Okay, those two tags work together. All right. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, remember to hit that subscription button below and subscribe to the channel, like the channel, comment. Anytime I post videos like this, you will be notified. Okay. So let's start off by looking at the code tag. Um, what would be a good use case for the code tag? Let's say you have an audience and uh, you trying to teach them about say some specific css declaration for example right um, and you want to describe something to them let's say you want to teach them about how to change the background color so whenever you write that uh, content you want your audience to be able to distinguish the declaration from the text that you are using to describe that declaration, all right? So we want to make it look professional, and at the same time, we want the browser and the SEO bot to understand what that content is about. So let's go ahead and actually apply this code tag so you can have a visual, better visual understanding, all right? So I'm gonna be using this website as my demo site just go ahead and ignore all the other stuff here we're just gonna try to post some content over here just so we see how we can use the tags okay so let's say I, I want to tell my audience how to change the background color using CSS so I'm going to put here paragraph and I'm going to say something like the best way to change the background color in CSS is by using is by using and then I'm gonna insert my code tag here and I'll say something like background color right and I'm gonna say it's by using background color as your let me indent this right here real quick so you can see all the text as your declaration and I'm gonna insert the code one more time the code tag here and I'm gonna say color um, um, for the font color okay so let's look at it on, on the front end and see how it looks so you can see right here it says the best way to change the background color in CSS is by using you can see background color as your declaration and color for the font color right so you can see that when you look at background color here this is a CSS declaration the font type is different from the font type um, you know we are using to describe that declaration okay it makes it look a lot more professional right and then like I said more importantly it makes uh, the tag allows the browsers and the uh, SEO bots to under better understand what your content is saying right and that helps with your SEO ranking too you know so um, let me actually style this text and make it white and black maybe that will make it easier for us let me apply some class right here real quick and just call it testing class let me just style it here real quick testing I want the color for it to be white okay testing white all right so now yeah this looks a lot better okay so you can see again how the CSS declaration we're talking about it's this the the font type looks different right so instead of us trying to write uh, a code to change the font type we could just easily use the code tag and then it distinguishes the declaration from the other 
font we're using to describe it okay so you can see that right here right okay uh, so let's go ahead and look at an, uh, the Dell and the ends tag a very good use case will be if we want to tell our audience to do some specific um, correction right we want them to correct something uh, we want them to delete something and replace it with something else but we do not want to um, hide that stuff we want them to delete okay we want to show that stuff they are supposed to delete and then we also want to show what we want to be uh, to replace that stuff that's been deleted okay so we want to show everything in the text all right so the good way to do that let me write another paragraph here underneath this one um, let me style this one also let me give it the same class uh, testing class testing okay so I'm gonna say something like um, look for the word and then I'm gonna put this delete so look for the word happy okay and then I'm gonna say in your in your document and replace uh, replace it with the word um, and I'm gonna put INS in here this time replace it with the word excited something like that right Replace it with the word excited okay I mean and then this here so we can see everything here all right so let's go over to the right here so you can see here it says look for the word happy in your document and replace it with the word excited if you look at this uh, word happy just take a good look at the word happy right here maybe I can zoom in a little bit for you all right you can see right here so you can see that the word um, happy has a line in in there that's indicating that the word is canceled okay and then it's being replaced by the word excited okay so we don't want to hide that word happy we want our audience to know what word we want them to cancel okay and then we want that word to be replaced by excited so this is a good way to use those tag the dl tag which indicates um delete and then the end tag is to insert or replace it the deleted word with that word okay so guys these are two html element tags that i think can come in handy as you go on your html journey uh, you may need to use this uh, you don't have to but i recommend that you you use them okay being a, a good coder is not just about coding fancy looking websites right uh, it's not about how cool the website looks but you want to code it in a way that will allow web browsers and um, SEO bots to understand the content your content okay when you make it easy for SEO bots to understand your content uh, it helps make your website rank better Okay. So I hope you found this video useful. Again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be posting more videos like this. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.